Hey, how is going? Today I'll show you one truly amazing code for the loader, which will allow you to jailbreak your Fire Stick and open access to thousands of great applications, which you can download for free. You'll get access to apps from different categories, be it VPNs, movie applications, games, live TV players, IPTV players, music, browser, sports, tools, and so on. And most importantly, the whole setup is really easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now let me show you how to get the loader, set it up and use it to access thousands of apps. First of all, of course, we have to get an app called the loader to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. To do so, we need to go to search on your device. Here, open the search bar and start typing the loader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Here they are, click on the button with the gear icon. Then we need to scroll down and click on my Fire TV. So open it. And here we have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we need to go to install unknown apps, open it, scroll down and locate the loader here. Make sure to turn that option on, and basically what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we will connect to Norway right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So, let's open the loader application, here it is, wait until it loads. Then, it's really important that on the left side menu, you click on Home. Once again, you have to click on Home, and not on Browser. And here in that search bar, we need to enter a link, which is going to be apktime.com. So let's enter it together, apktime.com. So once again, the link is apktime.com. You can see the exact link on your screen right now. So make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work. Then we have to click on go, and in a couple of moments, the website is going to open up for us. While it loads, make sure to subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks, and of course, hit the like button below the video to help us develop our channel. Then we just have to scroll down, and you have to keep scrolling until you see that APK time button right here. 
it will be of a red color. So just click on APK time right here. Then a new web page is going to open up, which we also have to scroll a bit until we see that official website button. So click on official website and then click on APK time original APK. Now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Yep, as you can see, that happened super fast. Then click on install and wait until APK time is installed to your Fire Stick. After that, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we have saved you some space on your Fire Stick and well, you don't really have too much of free space on your device anyway, so it's important to save space when it's possible. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it, scroll down, and here we'll find the APK time, which we just downloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. There's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, APK time is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. And yeah, there's also one more important detail. We'll have to go to settings again, go to My Fire TV, once again, go to developer options, install unknown apps, locate APK time and turn that option on because we'll be using APK time to download other applications from the internet. Now, finally, we got to open APK time. There it is. And there you'll find loads of different categories, for example, top applications, Android TVs, animation, APK seekers, entertainment, essentials, free VPNs, gaming, live TV, music, players and browsers, premium services, sports, tools, and torrent-based applications. Let's say we open players and browsers, and here you'll find all kinds of TV or browser applications. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you exact applications available in the app, but in your case, of course, the screen is not going to blur it, so don't worry about it. Just make sure to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Once again, you can use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of Nord totally for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.